In this video, we're going to be exploring the new IDF to 3D interface that was incorporated into Eagle in version 7. In front of us, we're looking here at the Hexapod board. It's one of the example boards that comes with Eagle. And we're going to go ahead and generate the IDF output for this board. We do so by clicking on the UOP icon, and in the list of UOPs, we're going to find Eagle IDF Exporter. If you just click on any UOP and type the letter E, it's going to be the first one in the E's. So we click Open. And this runs as a, as a little interface within Eagle. We can see we can specify board thickness. We can select the layers. Here we have direct links to the site. Um, but to go through the whole process, we're going to go ahead and click Generate IDF Files. So we click on Generate IDF Files. We specify a location. By default, it's going to go into the same location as the board and schematic, which for our purposes is very convenient. Let's go ahead and select Folder. We click OK. And we see that it was able to generate the IDF files for us. And if we notice, all of the parts have a default height of 1 millimeter. We can control that within the design by creating an attribute, calling it height, and then specifying the height in millimeters. For our purposes, this is sufficient. Let's go ahead and click Exit. And if we now look on the Eagle Control Panel, we're going to see these extra files there. EMN and the EMP. These two files are our IDF output. Now we go to a web browser and this is the Simplified Solutions site. It's SimplifiedSolutionsInc.com. From there you click on login slash sign up. It'll take you to this page which you put your username and password. I've already gone through that and I'm in my account here. So here we click on click here to open the IDF to 3D tool. This is an entirely web-based interface. These are different boards that I've imported before. We can go ahead and click a Start New Session. Going to go ahead and call this Hexapod. And now we simply have to browse for those two files. So for the EMN, Documents. Oh no, this will be on the main computer. This will be over here. projects, examples. In your case you would go to whatever file has uh, on your computer has these two uh, archives. So first we select the EMN, we hit open. Then we select the EMP, we hit open as well. Once they've both been uploaded we just hit upload files. It can take a few seconds because everything is being communicated to the server. And what has happened here is this service has already mapped many 3D models to Eagle's built-in libraries. So if we look here, everything was successfully mapped. If there were ever a case, and it's going to be with your own personal designs or your own personal libraries in which you would miss the mapping, you'll see that it will appear just as a rectangle. And then you can do the mapping yourself using the 3D component mapping tool. In this case, the mapping was perfect on its own. So let's go ahead and click over here, Build, Download, and Purchase. At this point, we're going to go ahead and click Generate 3D View. It'll take a few seconds to generate the view. Here we have a complete build. We go ahead and click OK. And we see that we have a 3D PDF that's been generated. Additionally, because my account is unlimited, I have immediate access to a step file and to an STL file should I want to 3D print uh, the 3D model of my board. This service normally will give you the 3D PDF for free in order to have unlimited step generation and unlimited STL generation. There's a $300 three year subscription model for this service but it's well worth the effort. Let's go ahead and just open our PDF. Say open with Adobe Reader. and there's our 3D PDF file. So this is very useful for documentation purposes. We can rotate it. We can do whatever we want with it. This is an excellent new feature that was introduced into version 7. Thank you very much for your time.